I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So today's video is all about vitamin D and does sunblock reduce your vitamin D levels? So it's a question that I've actually been asked quite a lot so I thought it definitely warranted its own video. So let's dive right in. So first of all, vitamin D is essential for bone growth, otherwise you get something called osteoporosis. It's also very important for our immune system. So the way it works is UVB rays basically hits the skin and converts the protein called 7-DHC to vitamin D3. That's the active form of vitamin D. So it would make sense, right, that SPF 50, which blocks 98% of UVB rays, which is what triggers a vitamin D3 in the first place, should essentially block it, right? Interestingly enough, there's not been a single study to show that using sunscreen properly every single day will lead to vitamin D deficiency. On the other hand, there have been many studies to show that not protecting your skin with SPF 50 every two hours has led to wrinkling, sagging of the skin, loss of elasticity, aging, pigmentation, and of course, cancer. So if you're doing your annual bloods and you want to check your vitamin D levels, anything less than 30 is going to require vitamin D supplements. If you're between 30 to 50, it's still inadequate protection and you're going to, again, probably need supplements. 50 plus is adequate. I think one of the main explanations for this finding is that even if you apply your sunblock correctly, which majority of people absolutely do not, even if you apply it correctly and you're applying two milligrams per meter squared every two hours, you're still getting 2% UVB rays coming through. And you only need about 20 to 30 minutes of UVB rays reaching the skin two to three times a week to have sufficient vitamin D levels. Anything more than that, any extra vitamin D that your skin is producing gets excreted anyway. So a study was conducted in 2015, which basically showed that UVA damage takes place within one minute of hitting the skin, within one minute. So from the second you open up your windows, your curtains, first thing in the morning, UVA is reaching your skin. So you need to be sunblocking right from the beginning. So with UVA damage, it's rapid, but it's also cumulative. So over years, is when you see your results of not protecting your skin sufficiently. It's also a mistake to use tanning beds to, to trigger your vitamin D because you, tanning beds are normally UVA. And so UVA is not even going to stimulate your body to produce vitamin D. So that would just be a mistake full stop. And don't forget UVA stands for aging A, UVB stands for burning, where the skin burns with that wavelength. The good news is, however, you can also get vitamin D from your diet. So you can get it from fatty fish, such as tuna or salmon. You can also get it from fortified foods. Usually cereals and milk are fortified. So it has to say fortified because it's naturally not found in those foods. It will say that on the packet. And you can also get it from supplements. So I even take vitamins daily. I use a Bassett's multivitamin and I get my vitamin D from that too. Um, the maximum you really want is 800 to 2000 units per day maximum. So I hope that's covering for you why you need to be applying your sunscreen correctly and why it should have really no impact on your vitamin D levels. So please don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color. A link is in the description box below. Please write down what videos you want me to make for you, um, which brands you want me to review for skin of color. Um, and if there's anything else you want from me, can you just write it down below as well, just so I know what's going on in everyone's brains and I can, you know, change my channel according to what you want from me. Thank you very much for watching.